We define paraphrasing as putting a passage from an author into your own words. However, what are your own words? How different must your paraphrase be from the original? The answer is it should be considerably different. The whole point of paraphrasing is to show you have read and understood another person's ideas and can summarize them in your own writing style rather than borrowing their phrases. If you just change a few words or add some bits of your own to an otherwise produced passage, you will probably be penalized for plagiarism. Many technologies have promised these qualities, but few have been commercially viable. What's been lacking is the performance data needed to demonstrate that these technologies are durable, genuinely environmentally beneficial, and suitable to be insured. Over the past 13 years, our Department of Architecture and Civil Engineering has led on research into straw as a low-impact building material. The innovative straw walls in the new houses provide two times more insulation than required by current UK building regulations. Based on monitoring a residential straw bale development in Leeds, fuel bill reductions up to 90% can be expected. The walls have been built using mod cell technology, prefabricated panels consisting of a wooden structural frame infilled with straw bales or hemp and rendered with either a breathable lime-based system or ventilated timber or brick cladding. This technology combines the lowest carbon footprint and the best operational CO squared performance of any system of construction currently available. In fact, as an agricultural co-product, straw buildings can be carbon negative as straw absorbs CO squared when it grows. In such an environment, warfare is no longer purely directed against the military potential of adversarial state. It is rather directed at infiltrating all areas of their societies and to threaten their existences. The comparatively easy access to weapons of mass destruction, in particular relatively and low-cost biological agents, is of key concern. Both government and non-governmental actors prefer to use force in a way that can be characterized as unconventional, or also as small wars. War waged according to conventions is an interstate phenomenon. Leaders can mobilize people's energies in ways that range from subtle, quiet persuasion to the coercive threat or the use of deadly force. Sometimes a charismatic leader such as Martin Luther King Jr. can define goals and mobilize energies through rhetoric and the power of example. We can think of leadership as a spectrum, in terms of both visibility and the power the leader wields. The small war is the archetype of war, in which the protagonists acknowledge no rules and permanently try to violate what conventions do exist. The protagonists of the small war observe neither international standards nor arms control agreements. They make use of territories where they do not have to fear any sanctions because there is no functioning state to assume charge of such sanctions or because the state in question is too weak to impose such sanctions. This type of war does not provide for any warning time. It challenges not only the external security of the nation states and international community, but also their internal safety.
Although some brands stay fresh for generations, Marmite is over 100 years old, others become jaded due to changes in consumer tastes and lifestyles. At this point, the firms need to refresh the brand image to keep the products relevant to the target market. A clear objective must be set. For instance, what brand attributes do we want to create? What do we want the brand to stand for? This occurs when a firm aims to change a brand's image, so that the brand appeals to a new target market. Public speaking, an activity that terrifies most people half to death, but only because they do not have much knowledge about it, terrifies you as you are scared of being judged or laughed at, and you can go read and learn about people good at public speaking, by which you are more prepared with higher confidence allowing you to attempt public speaking. Water is governed in a participatory way that draws on the full potential of women and men as professionals and citizens, guided by a number of able and knowledgeable organizations, within a just and transparent institutional framework. Sufficient and safe water is made available to meet every person's basic needs, with healthy lifestyles and behaviors easily upheld through reliable and affordable water supply and sanitation services, in turn supported by equitably extended and efficiently managed infrastructure. To confront the 21st century challenges to our economy and national security, our education system must be strengthened to increase the foreign language skills and cultural awareness of our students. America's continued global leadership will depend on our students' abilities to interact with the world community both inside and outside our borders. Water is at the core of sustainable development. Water resources, and the range of services they provide, underpin poverty reduction, economic growth and environmental sustainability. From food and energy security to human and environmental health, water contributes to improvements in social well-being and inclusive growth, affecting the livelihoods of billions. In a sustainable world that is achievable in the near future, Water and related resources are managed in support of human well-being and ecosystem. Research pointed McVitie's in a new direction, younger, more male, and less dull. So new packaging was designed and then launched in conjunction with a new, brighter advertising campaign. In 2013 Hob Disabled people were among the early adopters of personal computers, for some of which, information in electronic format can be more accessible than printed information, and online communication can enable disabled students to communicate with their peers on an equal basis, so people's disabilities are not necessarily visible in online communication systems and disabled people do not have to declare the disability and are not perceived as being different. The advantages and disadvantages of solar power compared to other forms of renewable energy have been greatly debated. While obviously superior to some forms of energy, solar power's high cost and efficiency dependent on geography have limited its appeal. However, 
A large number of advantages also merit further development and even possible adaptation for residences. Advantages of solar power Solar energy remains popular because it is both a renewable and clean source of energy. Many insecurities, fears, and doubts stem from lack of understanding or lack of knowledge about something. The more you understand and know about a situation, the more comfortable you will be and thus the less power your shyness will have over you. Let's take for example the subject of public speaking.